So NBA 2K finally dropped some NBA 2K22 My NBA News. Yeah, the game comes out in less than 48 hours and we finally got our first bit of news for the next 2K cycle. What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? I'm going to be reacting to pretty much the whole article that came out. It's like we never get trailers for this, right? Like you get a trailer for my team, for Park, my career, but we get an article. You know, you could have done this in a video. Would have been cool. I would have made the video for you. But yeah, it's crazy because usually we'll get this news like a month, a couple weeks before the new 2K comes out. We're already getting this less than 48 hours. We got this at 11 a.m. The game comes out at midnight tomorrow. Kind of crazy, right? So yeah, we're going to be reacting to this. 2K drops. My NBA is back and better in NBA 2K22. Experience new improvements and additions to our franchise mode, including my staff, team and player training, conditional coaching, new pre-built teams, better spreadsheets, and more control. Now, my first look at that is it's a lot driven on the staff, it looks like, with conditional coaching. My staff, that seems pretty new. Now, it looks like that Greg Popovich, I'm kind of seeing from this photo right here, has ratings. And I've always mentioned that I want like a head coach to have like ratings in this game. So it has job aptitude and maybe what he would be at like at each position overall wise. I don't know. It badges, that's new. Coaches have like, I guess, more badges than they did last year because they did have a couple. And then there's a charisma, analytics, legwork, all these type of ratings. Pre-built teams, I I'm not sure what that's going to entail. I'm guessing it's going to be like expansion teams maybe that they built in the game better spreadsheets i'm excited to see what that is more control let's hop into this so build out and solidify a championship caliber staff to find the roles you'll need to fill and learn how training can make or break a title run in nba 2k so pretty much just explaining what platforms it is on my staff this is new back in 2k14 we took basketball franchise gameplay to the next level with my gm allowing players to fully take on the role of running an nba franchise from the ground up 2k20 we pushed forward with my gm 2.0 gotcha and now it looks like they're adding my NBA staff, which is good. Okay, so yeah, here's the staff overview. We need some pictures. So you have your head coach, your shot doctor, does that say? Your big man coach, your post D coach, your perimeter D coach, your guard guru, and your wing whisperer. Okay, so you really have a full staff. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I don't know what, like, the names of some of these are weird, like the guard guru and the shot director or doctor. I would have been cool with maybe just, like, I don't know, a shooting coach. <laughs> that would have been fine. But you know what? I'm cool with it. I like it. You know what? This is new. And they're all going to have ratings, it looks like. And I'm sure you're still going to have your assistant coaches. Wow. 17 staff members? That's a lot. You know what? I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's a really cool addition. You're adding these. Now, it's going to be probably auto-generated, guys, unfortunately. Unless, like, it's cool. Like, you know how in 2K20... One, you can make Tim Duncan your trainer. I'm hoping that's the case. Like, say when, hypothetically, I don't know who's a veteran in this league. You could say when JJ Redick retires, like, officially, and he pops up in that staffing, you can make him your shot doctor. I think that would be pretty cool instead of having just auto-generated guys. But, yeah, you can have 17 different staff members, and they all have kind of their own ratings. Obviously, this is with the Spurs. So... Uh, we greatly expanded the staff for every team. So now you'll have four departments with positions you need to fill. Your front office, so your governor, which I'm guessing will be you. Now, I don't know if this is just in my GM or it looks like this is, I don't know if this is in my GM only or this is also going to be in my MBA. A, but yeah, my NBA staff, you know, I think it's also going to be in here as well. So there's four different departments. You got your front office, your governor, GM, assistant, GM, CFO. Okay. Coaching. You have your head coach, your shot doctor, your big man coach, your post defense coach, perimeter defense coach, your guard guru, and your wing whisperer. All right. Scouting. All right. I like this. You have your head scout, four domestic scouts, and two foreign scouts. I know MLB, the show does this uh, because that's uh, like Madden really wouldn't do this because the NBA and MLB are comparable where it's got a big international game, right? So it's kind of nice now. We have foreign scouts where you got players coming over from the NBL in New Zealand, Slovenia, Latvia, just Spain, Italy. This is cool. I like that. And sports medicine, your team doctor, strength trainer, stamina trainer, sports psych, sports science, physio, and sleep doctor. Okay, front office needs every position filled and you'll need a head of each department beyond that. Okay, so it looks like you don't need to fill up all those positions. So yeah, you can kind of go about how you want to construct your staff. I like that. That's new. I'm, I appreciate that new stuff. I'm a big fan of that. And do try to fish off with the next great international player. Okay, so next we have attributes and badges. It looks like this is also for trainers. So now 
there's a lot more attributes for these guys. Very nice for the staff. So they've really overhauled this staff. So for example, they've added a new attribute, Charisma. This has almost no effect for a CFO buried in spreadsheets for the chief financial officer, but it's essential for a department head, GM or assistant GM. Money sense would be the prime attribute for a CFO. Okay, I like that. I like these badges a lot and they're gonna be allocated to each different department. All right, deep dive. My staff is a dramatic change to how you approach a franchise in the big picture and the staff you have will have immense effects both in terms of how your team performs in a given year as well as the direction your franchise takes in the long run. To take a deeper dive, let's take a look at the sports medicine department as well as various jobs found within. So the team doctor impacts all of the sports medicine jobs, okay. Strength trainer assists in the development of strength and vertical. Stamina trainer, okay. Sports psych, team chemistry and morale, that makes sense. Sports scientist, central to the prevention of injuries. Good to know, physio, the one that helps your player rehab from injuries, okay. And sleep doctor, manage the health and awareness. So I wonder if you can see that between each player, there's like health and awareness of each player and kind of how their rehab from injuries are going. Updated staff card. So they really overhauled the staffing in 2K, which is something I wanted to see overhauled definitely. So yeah, you can kind of see the new staff cards, they're different rating. And you're, it looks like you're also able to edit these as well. And you can kind of select them into each different department. Okay, that's pretty cool. Training, in, my, in addition to my staff, other flagship feature for 2K22 is the improvements to team and player training. For a long time, we've had some awesome ways to custom tailor how players would progress by giving giving them an archetypes and allowing training under the hood to help guide and direct them so players could feel the impact of choosing how player training would develop. Okay, so there's some hiccups and it looks like they adjust those. So you have your prep hub here for training. All right, so you have your training schedule, individual coach game plan, coaching system, previous games, scouting report, kind of your coaching staff here on the right, and then you have your training schedule here. So I guess it's also gonna be more allocated and immersed to whatever system you're running, as it mentions here with seven seconds or less. Here's your train or team training, where you can kind of see your team training schedule over time. Your individual training, all right. See, I'm not the biggest training user in 2K. I, I don't really utilize it too much, at least in rebuilds. Maybe I'll do it a little bit when I'm doing like my Hornets franchise or in previous ones with my Thunder or Knicks franchise. All right, and here are the new compact spreadsheet. So it's definitely looks new, right? That is definitely a new kind of menu screen where you can see all your players here on the left. It looks like they took control of the Honolulu Breeze, which I'm pretty sure is a new, I'm guessing it's going to be the pre-built team as you can kind of see the team here and all their ratings. And it looks a little bit different. You know, I appreciate it looking a little bit different, you know? So we've been hard at work in improving one of the most essential parts of franchise experience, the spreadsheets. Okay, <laughs> now across the mode, we're using a different style to help much tighter and more condensed spreadsheets. This means the place where you want to see the info, the roster, the coach game plan, the box score will now display more than double the lines previously. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a lot more going on which I like. Yeah, we were only able to see six players in 2K21 and now you can see 10 and you can see a lot more ratings as well. I like that. You know, I'm glad they added that. It's definitely useful. Next up, we have conditional coaching. Another feature we're really excited is the conditional coaching, which gives power users the ability to help give coaching directives while they simulate games. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of more that game to game simulating. Okay, and you can add stuff like garbage time. All you have to do is add a point value like 10, one set. It makes that if uh, in the fourth quarter, if the point differential is 10 up or down, there's only a little bit of game time left. You sub out your starters and get in the bench. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that a lot. New pre-built teams. I'm guessing, yep, this is going to be new expansion teams. It's the Bronx Brawlers. Interesting to see that the Bronx, New York had another expansion team. Honolulu Breeze. Okay, shout out to Hawaii. And then you also have Omaha Airmen. Interesting to see a new team in uh, Nebraska. All right, so that is pretty much it. Um, I don't really think that this was really necessary because if people wanted that, they could have just created on 2K Share, which there's just amazing content there where you get jerseys, courts, all that. So this, I mean, it's nothing crazy at all. Uh, in summary, we've got big changes to my staff and training to add new layers of depth to any type of my NBA you create, plus better spreadsheets across the mode, new pre-built teams to play with, greater control over the way your teams run via simulator and a countless number of bug fixes. Okay. And other minor improvements to continue improve your experience this year. We want to give a special thanks to all the dedicated fans. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So what they don't mention in here, which I'm really hoping is in, is the play-in tournament. Uh, if the play-in tournament is not in 2K22, that would just make little to no sense. And I would say that is incredibly lazy, but we don't know. It could definitely be in here. It might be rumored already have been here. I'm assuming it's going to be in because that would just be straight incompetence if it wasn't. So 
That's something they didn't mention that I hope said. I'm hoping there's maybe a new draft screen or free agency screen. I was hoping they would make free agency a little bit different, maybe like a bidding system or just kind of a more overall immersed experience. But that also could be added. That wasn't also in here as well. I mean, I would say that if this was like a month ago and they're still working on that, but the game already comes out in less than two days. So this is pretty much finalized. See, I love the new staff, right? I, I love that they had a new staff positions. I love that they have ratings. They have different kind of attributes and skills. I, I love that. I think that's just something they needed to do. And I'm really glad that they did that. Training, changing that is all right. I'm not huge into training. Um, maybe if you use training a little bit more, you'd appreciate this. Yeah, I love the attributes there. Having one of your big changes listed as spreadsheets, I feel like you know, didn't need to be there. And it makes me a little nervous that this is one of the biggest things changed in 2K22 is a compact spreadsheet. Now, um, this might be for free agency as well. This might be for the mock drafts, you know, like for the mock drafts, you can only see like five or so uh, selections. So maybe there'll be more there, which they just kind of don't show off here. I don't know. Uh, just having spreadsheets as one of your big changes kind of scares me a little bit. And then new three built teams, which you can really just do in my team or 2K share. So I'm a little nervous. So I love the new coaching. I love that kind of new overhaul. I'm a little nervous, but hey, the game comes out in a day and a half from now. So uh, you guys will be seeing content made by me very soon. Literally once 2K drops, I'll be making a ton of content. So we're going to go into it uh, right away. Let me know what you guys think of this down below. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in 2K22. Peace.